idiots. Just a bunch of mindless pussy ass fucks. These Democrats be like, ah, fuck you! Idiots. Fuck you! That's what all the Dems be like. <laughs> ah, shit. And I'm gonna start this episode of Spot the Liberal with guess who? You're never gonna believe this. A jackass Democrat named Bill Nelson who admits in a secret recording that he fabricated the claim that Russians penetrated the Florida election systems in 2018. Which, by the way, was proven to be bullshit. Listen to this. What I said last week was exactly the letter, what the letter states. <laughs> and that letter went to every supervisor of election in no. Florida, plus no. to the Florida Division of Elections. Bullshit. Bullshit. And what that letter says is... Bullshit. In essence, it would be foolish to think... You know, it's such a full of shit. ...were in our election apparatus in Florida in 2016, and that has now been twice documented. Bullshit. First of all, it was documented by the Senate Intelligence Committee report on the 16 election that they were in. Yes. And we right. again when Robert Mueller indicted the 12 Russian intelligence operators ah. in his indictment papers uh, that they were in for. Yes. It would be foolish to think that if they were in the election records in uh, 2016, uh, that they are not continuing. So, what has happened is this has gotten political. So, certain political public figures have taken that and tried to use it for partisan political purposes. And what about Chuck Schumer, that piece of shit that he is? Listen to this dumbass. Listen to him. Higher GDP, more jobs, reduced deficit. Who could oppose that? I don't know of anybody. I know of somebody who would oppose that. You! You get the picture, right? Fuck off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Christian Left Depreciation Night here at Stop the Liberal, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little big shit, wife's after of the day, royal flush of the day, all in one shot. Let me tell you about this progressive so-called Christian Twitter channel called the Christian Left. These are the same people that say, If y'all a church preachers that Donald John Trump is chosen by God to save us, we strongly recommend you find another church. Nothing but the hack technique. That's all they're good at. That's all they've ever done. The hack technique, right? You know, hope and change. It's basically hack without the K. You know, this this whole fucking... God, I, I can't even... <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people for thinking in a post like that would be even half as truthful as they think it is? What in the fuck is wrong with these people? You know, you know these people over here at the Christian left... They preach the gospel, they preach the King James, but they vote Democrat! So it negates everything that they're trying to teach. And, and what about, what about, okay, okay. Alright. I'm gonna look up the Christian left on Twitter, ladies and gents, on Twitter. That is right. I'm going to look up the Christian left on Twitter. Yeah. 
Let's see how many dumbass followers they have. How many dumbasses follow these people? Because I'd, I'd like to know. I would really, really love to know at this point. Because personally, I do not even care. And I'm just being real. <laughs> oh, God. 8,000 people follow them? What the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't. I'm done. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just one account. That's just one account. And, and, and check this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, I gotta check these people out. You mean to tell me that 19,700 dumbasses follow the Christian left? Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. What the fuck is wrong with you 19.7 thousand people? To follow a progressive so-called Christian channel that's not even Christian because it votes Democrats! I bet the Christian left are the same group of people who voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016 and Obama in 2008, along with the 69.5 million retarded dumbasses before them. Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh my god, man. You can't, you cannot make this up, I swear. There is no way you can make this up. A retard with Down Syndrome would be smarter than those idiots, let me tell you. And that guy had to testify before Congress and tell them that his life is worth living. You know that when a retard can stump all the Democrats in Congress with just five words, a mentally retarded person with Down Syndrome, in just five words, can stump an entire Democratic Party, you know your party's in deep shit. As well as your channel. You know people at the Christian left, you follow this channel because you want to be like them. You want to be a part of the problem. This is why I abandoned the Christian faith in almost its entirety to begin with. Because of bullshit like this. There is a post, a journal that I made on my fur affinity. Well, it's, it's not really my fur affinity. It's more the fur affinity account of a bunch of characters that I created within a universe that I created, a parallel universe specifically. See, I'm going to be working on another series of books completely unrelated to the Bronwyn Chronicle saga but in a way that depicts a futuristic landscape some, some 400 or so years from this point. And I'm just being reasonable now. I'm just being completely honest. You, you want me to be real with you, right? It's time to get real, folks! The Christian left is wrong! But the Christian right is right! You know, these people call themselves the Christian left. Well, I call myself the Christian right. Because I'm right, and they're wrong. End of story. You lose, you fuckers. Bye-bye! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Motherfuckers. And, and by the way, this is the same progressive, jackass, Democrat, so-called Christian channel. They're not true Christians, by the way. You're following a fraud! You're following a fraud, ladies and gentlemen. A fraud! Let me, let me explain something to you, okay? If a Christian channel has part of its username indicating the word 
left on it, chances are they're not really Christians. They're just Democrats posing as Christians. I'll give you an example. Now, one thing that I will agree with is the fact that the entire Catholic Church and the entirety of the Vatican are full of faggots and pedophiles. They are so full of faggots and pedophiles, it's practically unbelievable. Like that case in Pennsylvania, where so many hundreds of so-called ordained Catholic priests covered up a child sex ring, a pedophilia ring, a pedophile ring, basically. You understand? You know what they called it? They called it deplorable, horrific, unchristian, and sinful. This was, I believe, on August the 15th. But the day before, they posted two tweets. And you're never going to believe me when I tell you this. But, they're t the, but the Christian left, this people in charge of the Twitter handle, the Christian left, are also just as much a part of the Catholic Church as the Catholic Church and the Vatican themselves. But the day before, get this, they side with a disgraced Negro, she's not a black woman, she's a Negro, who obviously took advantage of the situation that she was in for all the wrong reasons despite having the best job in the world working for Trump. And what does she do? She sells him down the drain and General John Kelly has to fire her right then and there politely, if you will. He did it as politely as could be and I think he did it right. I think he did the right thing by firing her for dumbass. And you know what's funny? She accuses Trump of using the N-word. And then she leaks a recording of it. Of course, she supposedly edited the thing. I'm probably going to go out on a limb and speculate, because I'm, I'm pretty sure she edited the whole thing. In fact, I'm absolutely confident of it. I am so sure of it that I would sell my father's grave if I were proven wrong. Because that is how sure I am that she edited the recording to make Trump sound like he said the nigger word. You know the word nigger, right? People use that around every day to, to bash their less fortunate ethnic counterparts. And yet their ethnic counterparts are guilty of using that very same word and about 90% of all the R&B and rap songs that they produce. How ironic is that? Comedic irony, folks! And I'm not even racist. I'm just pointing out the facts. Okay, get this, get this. Also, on that very same day, the day before they posted that, mainly the one that talks about the Catholic Church child sex ring, they call Donald Trump a narcissistic man-child. He's such a narcissistic man-child. Well, you're starting to sound like one, the Christian left. And you wonder why I'm not a Christian anymore. Because of bullshitters like you, who claim to be Christians, but side with... Your democracy. Remember, this isn't our democracy. This isn't my democracy. This is your democracy. You made this. You turned America into a shithole by voting Obama and Clinton and Nixon and Jackson. Obviously, that would be Andrew. Because not Michael. So that would be, be stupid. Why would, Andrew, why would Michael Jackson be president when we also know that Another guy named Jackson, first name Andrew, was responsible for the near extinction and genocide of the entire indigenous ethnicity in America. 
people. Listen to me. No, no, no. no. Listen to me! The Christian left are frauds! And 19,700 of you blindly follow and buy into their bullshit. What's the point? Please, I'm begging you, explain it to me. <laughs> God. I swear to God, man. You people are the dumbest people on earth to follow a so-called Christian Twitter channel that also has the word left in its name, which obviously indicates that they're Democrats. Democrats, as I've mentioned, are the worst people in the history of humanity. All they do is obstruct, 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 fuck people over, obstruct, 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 sex ring, obstruct, 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 capitalism, obstruct, obstruct, obstruct. You understand? That's all they do. Fake news. They fuck people over, quite literally. They raise your taxes and expect you to like it and smile. But yet the only people that are smiling are us. People like me who actually give a shit about telling you these truths. Now you listen to me, people. I want you to listen to me, but good. If you so happen to come across a leftist Christian channel, please, 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 for the love of fuck, block them. And keep in mind, you don't have to do this. I'm just suggesting this to you. Because at this point, it's completely optional as to whether or not you want to take my advice. You don't have to, but it would be very, very nice if you did. Let's continue on with our fucking rant on the Christian love. Possibly the worst Christian channel in all of social media. Let me tell you something. I do not give a shit about the prosperity preachers appointed by Rothschild because they are the problem. As is the entire Catholic Church, the entire Vatican, the entire Democratic Party and half of all Republicans too because they don't have a spine and they won't grab enough balls to fucking speak the truth as I do on a daily basis. I'm basically the Jim Cornette of autism, essentially. Go figure, huh? To think that I compare myself to a liberal like Jim Cornette. I mean, at least Jim Cornette is honest about it. At least he's honest. Every other liberal, every other Democratic supporter will lie to you, but Jim Cornette, despite his political affiliation, is the JFK of our time. He might be a liberal, but damn it, he speaks the truth, and when he speaks the truth, everything he says is right. We need more people like him, and less people like Omarosa, or the Christian left, or John McCain, or Dick Durbin, or Nancy Pelosi, or Kamala Harris. We need less people like that. We need more people like myself who are willing to speak the God's honest truth no matter what. It is logic. It's logic, people. Let's continue on with this roast. This epic roast for the fucking ages. Let me, let me explain some to you people, okay? I'm gonna tell you now. The Christian left is a progressive, democratic, nasty, so-called channel under the guise of Christianity. It is nothing more than cannon fodder for the great Oculus democracy. That's all it is. And you know, there are very few things that I agree with them on. Very, very few things. But this first tweet that you see above you, 
right there on the top that says that church isn't a museum for good people and that it's a hospital for the broken. I actually agree with that. Because many of the people that go to church that want to mend their broken spirits, what do they do immediately after the service? They go home and they resume their simple ways of denying the existence of God, which is what Joel Osteen and his mega church wants all his people to do, because they blaspheme God on a daily basis. It's ridiculous. It's pointless, it's ridiculous, and it's absolutely absurd. And yet, they want to post shit posts like this. Guess, guess what? I'll give you a few examples. I have four of them right here. I'll start from left to right. These are the same so-called Christian people on the Christian left that say that in a hundred years, Hillary Clinton will be viewed as a trailblazer and an American hero in the history books. Yeah, maybe in Rothschild's history books, but sure as hell not mine. If anything, she's nothing more than a Ponzi schemer and a deliberate Madoff scammer of epic proportions. Not even Madoff and Ponzi themselves could compare to her. And get this, these are also the same people that accuse Trump of destroying economic growth with a trade war. Since when? Since fucking when? Okay, explain this to me. How is Trump destroying economic growth when this quarter alone he's responsible for over a 4% GDP increase? Yeah, people are going to say that that was Obama, but obviously not. Yeah, that's hilarious. See? My friend knows what he's talking about. He understands the situation more than just about anybody else I know. He knows how bad Obama did as president. And had Obama not been president, had McCain been president, we probably wouldn't have gotten much better. So it was either we get a jackass or we get a Democrat. And a jackass. Obviously. These are the same people on the Christian left on Twitter that say that America is preparing for a Nazi attack. Which... No, the Democrats do. The Trump, the Trumpster always looks out for his people, meaning us. He looks out for the small person. He looks out... For, for those that are less fortunate, namely us. He doesn't look out for Democrats at all because he can't trust them farther than he can throw them. Democrats are complete patsies to the great conspiracy of oculism and Satanism incarnate. And yet the Christian left want to say that this is what they meant by great again? These are the same people that want to believe a man named Andrew First Class Cunt Cuomo who says that America was never really that great. Exactly. These are the same people in the Christian left on their Twitter channel that say that the entire Trump era has been a festering pit of barely disguised ongoing corruption. Actually, the entire George H.W. Clinton, W. Bush, and Obama administrations were the festering pits of barely disguised ongoing corruption. And the whole sordid era has not had a 20-year period quite like the orgy of criminality which was the presidencies of George H.W., Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Hussein Obama, a.k.a. Barry Sotoro, a.k.a. Barry I shit the bed, Obama. Because reasons. 
and his middle name shares the last name of another often overlooked leader named Saddam Hussein, who by the way would have made a better president than Barack Obama ever could. See, this is, this is what I don't understand. The Christian, the Christian left calls themselves a Twitter channel just because they proclaim themselves as being Christian doesn't automatically mean that they're a Christian channel. Because if they have Democrat or Jackass or left in their name, they're obviously not true Christians. And they're little fucking young boys, exactly. Alright. And you know, they have 19,700 followers on Twitter. What the fuck are these 19,700 people on? Are they on LSD? Are they on acid? Are they on cyanide? Well, they might as well be on cyanide because they committed suicide when they followed that channel, obviously. And you know what's funny about Peter Strzok's campaign on GoFundMe? His GoFundMe should be more like a go fuck yourself because 11,400 people were retarded enough to donate to this piece of shit. And they gave him $500,000 to pay off his attorneys, or lack thereof, to pay for their lavish lifestyles because they know, like we know, that he's obviously going to get the death sentence or life in prison one. And it's almost entirely likely to be the latter, not the former. I wish it would be the former, though, first. Yeah, but it's sizzling now. Right. Well, well I guess you know why the Christian left isn't Christian at all. They just use the word Christian to disguise themselves under a mask of so-called Catholicism and false prosperity Christianity. Now you know why they suck. And just a reminder, this episode of Scully Goes Wide, well, it might as well be an episode of Scully Goes Wide because it's done in the style of another web show that has also gained a lot of traction, has been brought to you by Free Thought Project, who reminds you that free thinkers will always seem crazy to those who don't take the time to research that you should never apologize for evolving past people's comfort zone. And it's also been brought to you by the Corporation for Pubic Broadcasting. I mean public, public broadcasting. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. But you already knew that. Which is made possible by suckers like you.